Okay, so we're going to be making a maxi skirt. Long flowy maxi skirts are so perfect for spring, so let's get going. I drafted my own pattern for this skirt, and this is what it looks like. The pink line on the right side of the screen is your waist measurement, and the green line on the left side of the screen is your waist times two. This is the bottom part of your skirt, otherwise known as your hem. The yellow line that connects the two is the length of your skirt, so you can make that as long or as short as you want. But since it's a maxi skirt, we're going to make it a little bit longer. Cut out two skirt pieces and sew the sides together. Next is the waistband. Again, I drafted my own pattern for this because it's so simple there's no need to really go out and buy one. The purple line at the top of the screen is your waist measurement. The kind of reddish pinkish line on the right side of the screen is the height of your waistband times two because we're going to be folding it in half. This way you can wear it as a maxi skirt and as a maxi dress. Also, this has already been folded in half and it's ready to be sewn. But when you cut it out, it's going to be a lot longer than this because your waist is longer than what's shown here. Mine is anyways. You need to fold it in half and then sew it up the side. Take your sewn waistband and fold it in half the seams together. Next, pin your waistband and your skirt right sides together and sew all the way around. Make sure your seam is on the inside of your skirt because you don't want any seams on the outside of your skirt. You want to be able to fold your waistband up and have a nice line. Also when you pin your waistband to your skirt, you want both of your side seams to match up. If you use jersey knit like I did, you don't have to hem the bottom. If not, then go ahead and run a stitch around the bottom to hem it up. It's so cute and great for spring, so let me know what you think in the comments below. 